this is Nicole, and as always, I'm joined by my special helper, Gus Gus, and we're ready for our story time today. So today's book is a really special one called Tops and Bottoms, and it's adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. So adapted means it's an older story that was passed down from person to person for a long time, and then Janet Stevens is the one who wrote down the words in this book. And she's also the one who drew the pictures. This is going to be a little bit different because instead of flipping the usual way, the book flips up this way. Tops and bottoms. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all bear wanted to do was to sleep. Not, not far down the road lived a hare, and a hare is another word for um, rabbit. As you can see in the picture, they're, they're kind of similar to rabbits. Although Hare was very clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land, too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise, and he had sold all of his land to Bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in a very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together, and they cooked up a plan. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was asleep. Bear, oh, hello, Bear, wake up. It's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. Ugh, we can, do, we can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear. We are in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Huh? Bear said. So what will it be, Bear? asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Let's see. Oh, thought Bear with a yawn. I'll take the top half. Hare, right, tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the tops and I get the bottoms. Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked all of the tops, tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself. Uh-oh, do you think Bear is going to like this? He only gets these tops, and they get all these bottoms. Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now, Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. But do you think that Hare might be a little bit tricky again? We'll have to see. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted and watered and weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the bottoms and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli, the celery. Hare pulled all the bottoms for Bear and put all the tops in his own pile. Uh-oh. So Hare gets all these green celery and lettuce and things. Look what Bear gets. A bunch of roots. And his face does not look happy. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. Hare, you have cheated me again. But Bear, Hare said, you went to the bottoms this time. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You tricked me twice and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair that you both get the, you get both the tops and the bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. I don't know. Do you think Hare's going to be tricky one last time? 
Let's see. So Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted and watered and weeded, then watered and weeded some more. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and the bottoms. There in front of Bear's house lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tossed off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for Bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See, Bear, you get the tops and the bottoms, and I get the meat middle. Yes, sir, Bear, it's a done deal. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Hare brought back his land with a profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. And that is the end of the story. And that's some of the vegetables that they planted. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.